guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I'm Tom, Mr. Fix-All. Oh yeah, in another beautiful home. Oh yeah, very beautiful. And what's going on here is this. I'm just going to jump right to it. I won't make this a big, long, drawn-out scenario, but I just wanted to share with you uh, some of the problems that are going on in this house. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, look. All right, a homeowner here, this is a half a million dollar home. And she hired a bunch of painters. She bought the house and hired a bunch of painters that said they were a bunch of pros and they can give her quality work, okay? Well, after about eight or nine days, she fired them, okay? Fired the whole crew. And uh, the reason why she fired them is because these guys said, oh yeah, we'll make everything perfect. Uh, don't worry, uh, we'll fix the problems in the home. They had a couple, uh, the previous owner had dogs and, you know, kids, and there was a lot of paintings hanging up and stuff like that. So this crew came in and started working on his house. Well, she flew in to see the progress, and as soon as she saw the work, she immediately fired him, okay? And I'll tell you why. Let me show you. Now, these guys freehanded this entire house, okay? They taped nothing up, and I'll show you where the problems are. Now, here's the, the beige, and there's this dark color over here, right? Okay, do you see that? That's freehanding, buddy. Absolutely horrible. They, they couldn't paint a straight line if their damn life depended on it, okay? Now this room, look at the crap up there. <laughs> they got paint all up in the ceiling. Look at the, look at the sloppy work. I mean, absolutely terrible. See it? See all the paint going up into the ceiling? They're in a straight line anywhere, okay? They painted the trim, and this room used to be a dark blue. Look at that. They never even painted the trim. See it? I know you can see that. So they never even painted the trim, and they got green paint on the trim. So I've got to repaint this entire room and also redo the ceiling, okay? This is just one room of many. And, of course, I've been caulking all the trim around the entire house. Uh, I'm doing this place in stages. I got to redo the bathroom. I got to do so much work in here. It's not even funny. Um, you know, look at that. Painted right into the ceiling. No straight lines whatsoever. Also too, you can see, you might think this is straight, but it's not. There's a big, look at that big wave in there. Big wave. It just does this little shit right here, okay? All right. Let's go downstairs because I've been working downstairs uh, pretty much all morning. And, uh, I mean, every room's got a problem. I mean, look at this. Look at this, they hand painted every, like I said, they freehanded everything. Now look at that, painting the ceiling. They painted the ceiling. The homeowner is going to, right now to go get me a gallon. Go get me a gallon of uh, ceiling paint. I just took a, a sample for her so she can match it. But let's go downstairs. Okay. Now, I know you can't see this, but I've already had to tape because they didn't get this brown. They left basically uh, an eighth of an inch or so all the way up. So in other words, they didn't get right into this corner with this beige right here. I just repainted that wall. It was messed up. They had all kinds of uh, just, just poor lines everywhere. So I painted the outer edge so it's perfect 
right on the seam. And I repainted that wall there. It was just a mess. They did some sheetrock repair and didn't get it right. Left a bunch of bumps, so I had to re-sand the wall. And then I repainted everything too. And of course, just like I said, you know, this is what happens when you freehand guys. I mean, a lot of it you'll start seeing is it seems to be okay. Uh, no real big deal, right? But you just start looking at the trim. See, look at that. Can you see it? See all the imperfections? Look at the lines. Look how they float. Look at that big old blob. You know? And this is a form is a some sort of ex, experimental scientist. So she's got a lot of money and a lot of uh, money. Uh, she got a lot of, excuse me, she's highly intelligent and got a lot of money. Uh, but when she saw this work, she was just said, she said, you guys are just absolute idiots. And I mean, again, it's slight, but it's there. They painted it into the ceiling. But you get the idea, okay? Now, oh yeah, the bathroom. That's where the real biggest disaster is. Now I gotta recalk this entire bathroom. Because the guys, um, when they put their clear silicone down, the guy never fingered his silicone. And you can grab it and literally pull it off. You can pull the stuff off. It's not sticking at all. I pulled off a big old strip of it the other day just to show the whole motor. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Just comes right off. He never fingered it in. And then there's big old gobs. And look at this. I mean, I can literally... Hold on. You tell me, does that quality work or what? Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Amazing. Just pulls right off. And I gotta re grout the shower because they didn't do it. Oh, they just left everything. And like I said, this is a half a million dollar home. Okay, let's get back out here. You know, I did a video last summer about uh, Master Painter show you how to paint, okay? Transitioning from trim to wall. And I'm getting, uh, that video has something like 13,000, no, excuse me, about 33,000 views on it. And about 79 thumbs down, but about, oh, probably 169 thumbs up. Now, I'm going to just say this again for the record, just so you guys understand this. If you guys want to continue to freehand, go for it, man. That's all I can say is go for it, okay? But when it comes right down to it, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to question your technique because if you guys think you're really that good and you can pay an absolute perfect transition line from uh, top of a wall and uh, right there in a 90 degree between the wall and the ceiling and you know doggone well you won't make any mistakes and bravo bravo to you okay but here's the perfect example of a crew of painters that came in here and said they were pros and they got fired they painted this entire interior of this house and guess what the homeowner did she paid them nothing she had a deposit she gave them a deposit and she owed them uh, she told me right around twenty-seven to twenty-nine hundred dollars, and she told them to basically have a great day. That their work sucked, and if they uh, try to sue her, that she's going to put a, a lawsuit against them. Uh, so the bottom line is, uh, I got hired through social media. Uh, again, my reviews are real high on social media. She's been here all morning with me, and she watched me like a hawk, and she saw that I taped uh, the time I took to, to make sure everything was exactly straight and after it's about noon now she left to go grab some lunch 
and told me, Tom, she goes, I trust you. She goes, I'm going to give you the entire repaint of this house. So there you go, guys. Um, like I said, if you guys want a free hand and take the chance or possibly making mistakes, but if you think you can handle it and you've got no complaints, fine. But, you know, time and time again, I keep telling you guys about free handing when you're in these extremely expensive houses with all these custom, you know, multi layers of paint, multi tints of paint and transitions from one wall to another and you continue to freehand, go ahead. One day you're going to wake up and you're, you're not going to have any work. OK, you're, you're going to have a bad reputation. And you know, it's funny. After seven years, I still get hired to do custom, uh, you know, half a million, million dollar homes and they want me to paint them. So apparently my reputation, and I'm not bragging, I'm just stating a pure fact that the way I've been doing it, I paint the walls, I tape, then I tape and paint the trim, and that's the way I do it. It works for me, it's successful for me, and I don't care about how fast, I know a lot of guys, you, left, you leave comments about, oh, you know, I can get in, get out fast. Guess what, I'm not about speed, buddy, I'm about quality. You're about speed, but you lack quality. And that's proof in the pudding because here's another house. How many houses do I have to walk into and find the same excuse from freehanders that you guys say you can come paint and then you guys screw a half a million dollar house up? All right, I know I'll probably get a lot of flack for this video uh, and, and I'm expecting it because I got a lot of shit from my other video, uh, but you know, after 33,000 views and only 79 thumbs down, I'll take that. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Thumbs up, leave those comments. If you want to put a thumbs down, go ahead. I don't care. But the bottom line is, is that I know what I'm doing, and I really question half of you whether you guys know what you're doing. Okay? Tom, out of here. See you later on another video. Painting the right way.